would like to read the scriptures, which uh, will go against uh, something which is very popular uh, among millennial generation, really generation of my uh, son, who is 32. And I really would like to rebuke that lie, or as you call it, why O L O, you only live once. It's a lie. And I would like to bring attention to the scripture, which I am as a believer, treasure dearly and understand that as a believer we will hold on to the word of God because that's the truth. And we will stand on that truth. And we would like to proclaim that truth because the only truth will penetrate the darkness and bring a light into the life of many. Millennials, all the generation, and every nation. And, and this is a message which uh, was, as we call, revelation of revelation, but it's really a revelation of Yeshua HaMashiach, which was given to his beloved disciple on the very distant uh, Roman island, Patmos, where his uh, disciple was already, I believe, in his 90s. And he was sent there by Roma, uh, by Roman government. And he is in his 90s was uh, given that beautiful revelation of heaven. And then it was written in the Revelation 20, it says, And I saw a great white throne, and this is a white throne which none of the believers will participate. Only those who reject the only way which God said he will accept any sinner which comes to the Holy God through his Son, who is the way, the truth, and the life. And this is a white ruin on which Yeshua HaMashiach, who will come in his glory, in the glory of his Father. And this is a throne where every unbeliever who rejects the God's way of salvation through Yeshua HaMashiach, through his Son, will be present. And this is the, as we call it, second, second death will follow. Because if you uh, and I saw the scripture saying in the scripture 12, and I saw the dead, a great and small, standing before the throne, and books were open. I believe the Jewish people are celebrating the holidays, uh, I mean feast of uh, New Year and the thing next uh, day, uh, next year in Jerusalem. And uh, that, uh, the, it's in the heart of every Jewish person to be written in the book of life. And here is a scripture which is telling about that. And the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And I believe every person on the earth, uh, on the earth have to ask, is your name will be written in that book of life. Amen. Because many books were open, and those are way, uh, books where the uh, people who are choosing the broad way which leads to destruction, their names will be written in that book. But book of life only to those who believe Amen. that Yeshua came in the flesh. That he got in flesh, Emmanuel, as we call him, in this holiday season when the, you hear the beautiful songs in the every, uh, I believe, business when you walk in. You hear about him. Some warmness comes in your heart, but you don't understand what it is about because it was a glory of the Father and the Son. And he is the way of salvation. That's through, only through the blood of Yeshua we can t enter in the Holy of Holies because he is a high priest who can enter in the Holy of Holies through his own blood, not by the blood of the bulls or lambs, which none of the sins can be uh, washed away for eternity because uh, 
high priest had to enter again and again and again and, and uh, with the blood of those bulls to pay for the sins of his, himself and the sins of the, uh, of the nation. But he entered forever. And he sits at the right hands of the Father and prays for us as the believers and intercedes for us yes. as the Holy Spirit. And he gives us his Holy Spirit to live in, in us. So my question is, is your name in this new coming year will be written in this book of life? Amen. And the death were judged from the things which they are written in the books according to the, their deeds. Yet yeah, we cannot enter into heaven through our deeds. It's through the mercy of God, through his kindness, by grace, as we call it. It's unmerited favor. Because by grace we are saved through faith. Because scripture is saying, because uh, God in his mercy, because of his great love through which he loved us, he made us alive with Mashiach. Amen. While we were dead, I mean dead, spiritual walking dead. Amen. He made us in life. Amen. He made us, uh, he, he brought us to life through Mashiach, through grace, by faith. And this is how we enter it in this relation with Holy God. This is not by deeds, not the works, not the works of righteousness, but he expects us to bring and as a fruit of that exchange, wonderful exchange and adoption into the God's kingdom, that we will produce those good deeds. But, and the sea give up the dead, which were in it, and the death and Hades give up the dead, which were in them, and they were judged, everyone by them, according to their deeds. And anyone's name was not, and if anyone's name was not found in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Amen. It is tremendous, tremendous to understand and the verses which we are before, we are saying about believers. And it was saying uh, that blessed are those, blessed are those who beheaded because of testimony of Jesus, because of the word of God. And those who didn't want not worship a beast, uh, in other words, anti, anti Mashiach, or his image, and had not received the mark on their forehead, on their hands, and they came to life to reign with Mashiach for a thousand years. So which means it's a first resurrection, and that what a book, this book saying, blessed are holy, are one, the one who has part in the first resurrection, over whose second death has no power but they will be priests of God and Mashiach and will reign with him for a thousand years. So the scripture very clear. It will be first resurrection and it will be second resurrection after a thousand years. And the first resurrection and blessed are those who are participating in first resurrection where they will participate in the God's kingdom for a thousand years. What a wonderful time we will have with him. But after a thousand years, those who didn't choose his, this way, which God is still available through the grace, by faith, they will, his name, their name will not be written in the book of life, and they will face the living God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They will face him at the white throne of judgment. What a scary thing. Yes. But I, 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 I just cry now that in, your, in the God's mercy you will cry to and call on the, on the name of Jesus. Yes. Whatever problem you have with addiction, with a drug, alcohol, uh, and pornography, that I'm calling upon you and I will call upon his name and renounce your sin and call upon his name and ask for your, his forgiveness, that he will take control of your life. He will come into your heart and, ta and that you will receive him as, his, uh, as your Savior, as a, as a pastoral lamb 
who paid the sin for the whole world and you will be changed you will be a new creature Amen. in Mashiach you will have a new heart you will become a born again and that what Nicodemus by night found out that he will have to be born again not by the flesh but by the spirit of Ruach HaKodesh by the God's spirit which he will come and live in you Amen. in the name of Yeshua I pray